Okay, we're on this one now. Now certainly the result looks pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna see how they got that result. And some of your teachers are gonna say memorize that. I just don't think it's worth it. What well, I'm gonna differentiate this guy over here. And let me write that down for you. So it's gonna be one over x plus the root of x squared plus one times, I gotta do the derivative of the top now. I'm sorry, not the top, the derivative of the, the argument, which is gonna be one plus two, uh, let's see, the root of x squared plus one, and then you're gonna get two x. All right, I get my erase route and see if I did it. Uh, um, let me just check it first of all. It's one over the argument, I did that. Uh, then I took the derivative of the inside, the argument, 1, and that's going to be, uh, let's see, 1 over 2 times the root. You know what? I mean, you know, I, I did it right. I'm a little dizzy looking at work now. I've been working on this a long time. 2x. Yeah, it looks all right. So I'm looking at it, and I'm going to say it really doesn't look like this. But I bet if I did a little work, that would get there. And the first thing I want to do is, um, I guess... The, the, some of the things I could do is just, let, let's just simplify the, um, the second factor. And I notice the twos cancel off. And I'm going to say com dominant to be this over here. All right. Then what do you get? You get this. And that would be what? Plus x, right? And what do you get over here? You get 1 over x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. Again, you might look at it and say, what am I going to do now? Well, I'm seeing something. I'm seeing that this and this are identical in factor, all right? So what do you get over there? Well, you get what they said you'd get. You get this over here. We're good to go. Thank you.